He says, people in this world, um, like I said, are mean, they're selfish, they're out to get things for themselves. So if you're living um, in this field, so let's say like, you are living on an island, and there's one coconut there, I'm going to take you out. To get <laughs> okay. So if there's one coconut, you better believe, sorry, uh, you're seeing nice, but you're out. So, um, that this is his theory. It's kind of like the Hunger Games, almost, like kill or be killed, survive. Survival, and that's his world. Okay, so So um, this environment, there's no institution, there's no religion, there's no government, there's no enforcement, right? Scary little world we're living in. Um, no, no limit on behavior. You can do whatever you need to do to survive. So over time, people get like dumber. Um, well, you can really go there, but I would, I don't know. You get meaner. Uh -huh. Well, like if there's no institution, there's no education. Oh, I see what you're you saying. Get dumber. I see what you're saying. So you have no education, so maybe you're just kind of living for like natural, like your survival. Yeah. It's like cave that's exactly good. It's like cavemen almost. Like this is pre-society, right? Pre-society. Good. Okay, so um Hobbes writes this book. He calls it it's called Leviathan. I don't know. You'll hear about this in college. He writes this book called Leviathan. And Leviathan, these are some of the things that come out of Leviathan. So he's kind of a negative dude. He's saying, um, we live in a state of war. Um, it's war every man against each other. Um, this is a really famous quote. You can see this if you, in college you're going to see this at Thomas. Um, that it's the state, in the state of nature, it's solid, solitary, poor, nasty, brutish, and short. So you're not going to live very long. It's going to be pretty evil. So that's kind of where I thought about the Hunger Games. Like, mm, don't want to live there. Um, so if we're living in this state of nature and it's evil and mean, what what are we going to do? How do we escape from that? What's our plan? Okay. Okay. So we're going to make a contract. We're going to make a deal. So we're going to make a deal that I won't kill you if you won't kill me. And so he argues, or Hobbes argues for this deal, if he calls it the social contract. Okay. It's a lot of trust. It's a lot of trust. But his trust, he says, okay, so because men are evil by nature, men are evil by nature, um, we can't trust, like, I can't trust um, Alex over here, right? Can't trust her because she's just as evil as I am. So I'm going to give it up to a king or a sovereign, okay? So this is the um, illustration from Leviathan. You can see all these people. These are people. And this is, like, his perfect ideal king. So all these people have given up their rights to the king. We're gonna, I'm going to give up my rights so that I can be ruled. Okay? Why would people do that? Well, no. <laughs> because, well... Why would people do that? So people are going to do that because they're going to give up their natural rights. So even though life might be terrible under a king, it can never be as bad as it is in nature, right? Because in nature, I can get my head chopped off any day. Like, you're basically living day to day. And this, yeah, it may not be that great. Um, and I might have to give up my right to kill people. But I'm doing it because um, I'm protected. I'm protected by the king. So this is, go put the next one. This is um, basically what we're going to look at and see is the social contract. So the sovereign has the right to use force to do this. He can forcibly do this to you. Um, but we're going to do this so that we can get some protection. So and this is what we call the social contract. This is the social contract. Basically, um, at the people give their rights up to the sovereign so that the sovereign can um, help the people. Right? Makes sense. It's kind of a deal. Can I hit the next one? Um, so, Hobbes is pretty smart, but no one's perfect. So, can we see a flaw? Now that we know like, his theory, what's the flaw in this? What's wrong? Some people don't trust other people. Some people don't trust other people. Okay, yeah. What else? So the the like, yeah, his theory is a social contract that people oh, okay. are evil, that we give up our rights to the king for protection. Um, even if the ruler is tyrannical, even if the ruler is mean, it's still, he says, better than the state of nature. What could be the point? Awesome, good. Okay, next slide. So what if the sovereign, or the king, sovereign king, um, breaks the contract? What if he said, like, what if he uses this rule for his own advantage? He's beheaded. Yeah. Well, in this case, sorry, you're out of luck. Even if he is evil and mean and he treats you terrible, it's you've given up your rights for him to do that to you. So this is kind of flawed, right? Maybe not. 
So we're going to see this other philosopher. There's two philosophers. Hobbes is the first one that says that men are evil by nature. The next one is Locke. So go hit it. And Locke, basically the you two that were cooperating over the chocolate bar, Locke would like high five you and applaud you. He thinks you're awesome. Because he says, Hobbes, you're a nutball. You're totally crazy. Um, people get along. People are nice by nature. They're not crazy. They're not mean. And he says people cooperate, so if men are living in this state of nature, so this area with no um, institutions, they're going to get along. They're going to obey. And so Locke is kind of our founder of democracy. So he'll <coughs> um, He says people aren't perfect by any means, but people can, can cooperate and get along, and that they... Um, that what they really need, if they really need government, they could probably operate in the state of nature by themselves if they wanted to. Um, but the reason why we have government is to protect their rights. So even though we could probably make this work, like you two are going to make it work over the chocolate bar, if I stepped in and said, hey, let's break this in half, that's going to be better for you, right? Right. Okay, so that's why he advocates for government. He advocates for government for protecting your rights so that you should get an equal part of the chocolate bar. Okay. Um, so he says that you don't give up 100% of your rights. Okay. He says that you don't give up 100% of your rights, but you um, lend your rights, basically. So I'm going to lend you my rights if you protect me. And so if we look at this, um, this is a lot different. If you'll hit the next one. Hobbes says we give up our rights to a sovereign. Um, Locke says that we lend them. So this is a lot different, but they're both in a social contract, right? We're both committing to our government for protection. We're just doing it differently. In this one, you have no rights. In this one, um, you have the right, and you have the right to revolt if the government treats you bad. So this is our contract. That's the idea of the social contract. Does that make sense? Clear as mud? Okay, thanks. <coughs>